Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey, I'm here with my friend Marco over here in Hangzhou, China. Marco, tell us a little bit about, about yourself and your gym. Sure, Ramsey. So, uh, my name is Marco Alvarado. I'm a black belt uh, from Checkmat under Lucas Leitch, and I'm here running uh, Checkmat Hangzhou uh, with my good friend uh, Ramsey here, inviting me to, to uh, you know, maybe share a little bit of uh, knowledge today. Yeah, so if you're in town, come, come check out Marco's gym and uh, roll with him. We're going to try out a women's self-defense technique today. See how it works. Break the grip here with the knuckles and to a finger lock. Remember, as you turn out, use that finger lock to a motion here. From here, we're going to teach you a technique. Um, I'm going to break the neck. 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 The hand that's not being used comes to the jaw. It's kind of a swift motion. I let go, release the jaw, and push and pull back. We'll see what happens when, when we uh, cooperate 100%. Okay. Okay, so I've got Marco from behind, grabbing his shoulders right here. Um, I'm not sure what grip he had, maybe this one, because he's got to get a hold of the fingers. Mm -hmm. and he's going to get a hold of my fingers, peel them off, get me in some sort of finger lock right there, mm -hmm. bend them, keep bending them until I end up on my knees right here. All right, he'll get behind me, do the Hollywood Ninja neck break, grab the chin, and remember, and uh, push and pull. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Dead. All right. Now we're gonna try it out with the ultimate litmus test of uh, self-defense techniques, mild resistance. So uh, I'm gonna fight back a little bit. First, this is a problem. Yeah, so I'd say I'm, I'm not holding on that tight, but um, yeah. Let, let, let's just skip this for a minute. Go, go ahead and let's just imagine you, you have this. Okay, he's got the fingers, so go ahead and... Now, I, don't, I don't like this, and, and he could potentially break my fingers, but um, it's not putting my, me on my knees. But look, let's, let's just pretend it does, and I'll skip ahead. He's got me on my knees. Now he's going to do the uh, the neck break. <laughs> um, okay, now that didn't work too well for me, and, and Marco, he's a black belt, so uh, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll give it a try. So, uh, all right, he's, he's got an S grip here, so I don't have ready access to his fingers. Oh wait, I remember in the video she did this thing where she wrapped his knuckles right here couple of times which forced him to let go. Break the grip here with the knuckles and to a finger lock. Marco, why are you not letting go? Uh, I don't, I don't really feel too much, you know? I think I could probably stay here maybe all day. Yeah, um, I mean, I guess I could try hitting really harder, but uh, I don't know. Let, let's skip head a little bit. So, he's, I, I got the fingers. See if I can get him on his knees with one hand. Because I need this other free hand to break his neck with. Um, yeah, the pressure is, <laughs> is just getting to walk in a circle to take it off. Okay. Well, let's say, let's say we get down, right? Okay, so I, I release this in order to grab the chin and, uh... Two-way action. Now, if he's cooperating, okay. Now, if he's not cooperating, okay. I release this marker, do whatever you want. So somebody grabs you from behind, what do you think, Marco? So, I mean, first, I mean, uh, I think they probably grabbed me in an incorrect way. I mean, they went, they went over both of my shoulders. You know, uh, a, a nice uh, control is uh, like a backpack, what we call, right? One would be over, one would be under. This yeah. is this is much better, That's like a, a seatbelt. Okay, because now I can't go up and I can't go down. This is blocking me from going down, this is blocking me from going up, but obviously I'm not gonna go up because I'm not gonna jump out of this, right? So, going back to what we saw in the video, I mean, one easy way to get rid of this is maybe lifting both my hands. Maybe my neck might be vulnerable, so maybe lifting both my hands and turning into maybe Dewey would also be a better option, okay? Um, you know, another one, actually old school Gracie combatives, you know, would be looking for this foot, which is kind of, 
kind of silly, but done correctly, you could probably drop Make the guy. From the side? Sure. So you know, I'm here. Best case scenario is that I, I push Dewey and I don't go with him. Worst case scenario would be that I pull and push Dewey and we fall together. But I'm still on top, which is okay, you know? Anyways, in a, in a self-defense situation, we'd be on concrete, so he'd be hitting the concrete and I'd be falling on top of him, so he has his own body weight hitting the concrete and then I'm another 190 pounds falling on top of him, right? So that's that's just a, a little bit from that same same situation here. Two-way action. Let that be a lesson to you. Test out your self-defense techniques at least against mild resistance before you teach them. Hey, Marco, thanks so much for uh, for being on the show today. Oh, thank you, Dewey. Anytime, my friend. Thank you, guys. All right, thanks for watching. Get out there and train.